Kicker must kick a football from a point of 36 meters from the goal. Half the crowd hopes the ball will clear the crossbar, which is 3.05 meters high. When kicked, the ball leaves the ground with a speed of 23.4 meters per second and at an angle of 52 degrees to the horizontal. How much does the ball clear or fall short of the crossbar? Does the ball approach the crossbar rising or falling? So the first thing to do here is to draw it out. So 36 meters and the ball is kicked. Oops, sorry, I'll do that. The ball is kicked at a 52 degree angle. And that initial velocity of 23.4. Meters per second. Thirty six meters away, and the goal post is three point oh five meters high. So this is a two component problem. There's an X value and a Y value you need to find. And I always start off by drawing the chart so I know what components I need to find. Okay, so you've got your initial velocity, your final velocity, acceleration, your time, and your change in distance or displacement. So first we need to find the initial velocity of x and y because we're given an unknown angle here, or known angle but it's an unknown x and y component. So the first thing you have to do is find these two distances or in this case velocities. So you take 23 0.4 times the cosine 52 to get your x or your your x value and 23.4 times the sine of your angle. to get your y value. And when you calculate that out, you end up getting a x initial velocity of 14 point four one meters what the heck? Meters per second. And your y value becomes 18.44 meters per second. I use the cosine because it's opposite over hypotenuse or adjacent over hypotenuse and the sine because it's opposite over hypotenuse trigonometry. So next, since it is in the air, the acceleration of x is zero. There's only gravity. That's just known. So the y acceleration is 9.8. meters per second squared. The change in displacement or distance in this case, the x value is 36 meters. And we need to find the y. So how are we going to do that? We have three values here so we can find out the rest. 
by using this equation right here. So we take V0, which is 14.41 equals the change in X, which is 36 times T, and that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find T so we can find the displacement of Y. And in this case, A is zero. So that becomes zero, which cancels this out. That's a T. So we take 36 divided by 14.41 to find the time in seconds. ends up being 2.5 seconds. And that is the same for the X and the Y. Okay, so now we have three Y values and we can find the change in X of the Y using the same equation. Change in X equals V0 T 18.4 4 times the time 2.5 plus half of the acceleration negative 9.8 your acceleration times r times squared 2.5 squared and when you type that all out get a value of 15.5 and say 15.48 meters now the question is asking by how much does the ball clear or fall short vertically of the clearing the, club, the crossbar and the crossbar is 3.05 meters high. So we take 15.48, which is how high the ball is at this time and that distance. And we subtract it from 3.05. And we find out that the ball clears the crossbar or the goalpost at 12 by 12.4 feet. The second part of this question is asking: Does the ball approach the crossbar above or beneath it, or while it's still falling or rising? And you can figure that out by finding the final velocity of y, which will indicate the direction. So to find that, we need to take v f, this equation is what you use, equals the initial velocity plus acceleration times the time. So our initial velocity is 18.44 plus negative 9.8 times 2.5.
and that gives us a value of negative 6.06 6 meters per second. I'm oh, sorry, this is meters. And it's a negative, so that indicates that the ball is coming down. Negative y value, it's going down. So to answer the question, the ball is falling at this time and it clears the goalpost by 12.4 meters. Hope this helps.